Once upon a time, a spacecraft named Rosetta was launched into the night sky. A long, long journey lay ahead of her to uncover the mysteries of our solar system. Rosetta carried a little passenger, the lander Philae. It had taken many, many years to dream up this mission. And now, Rosetta was on her way to the far-off comet churyumov gerasimenko Rosetta needed lots of energy to get there and got some from Earth and Mars by flying around them, seeing some beautiful sights. Along the way, she also went to places spacecraft hadn't visited before. Rosetta found a diamond-shaped object, the asteroid Steins, and took amazing pictures for everyone on Earth to see. The diamond disappeared as Rosetta sped on. Further along the way, a giant appeared. Lutetia, an ancient rock 100 kilometers tall and 100 kilometers wide with big craters on the surface. Rosetta sent more pictures home of the amazing encounter. This was still only the beginning of the adventure. But far from the energy of the sun, Rosetta was very tired and needed to rest. Still traveling through space, she fell into a deep sleep. A sleep lasting for two years, seven months, and 12 days. Now it's time for Rosetta to wake up and open her eyes. Wake up, Rosetta. You and Philae have a comet to chase. Wake up, wake up, Rosetta.
Ten years ago, and the launch of a breathtakingly ambitious mission, when the Rosetta spacecraft set off for a rendezvous and landing on the distant comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko Rosetta is now 800 million kilometres away, and because there's not enough sunlight to power all but the essentials in deep space, it has been in temporary hibernation since 2011. But at 10 a.m. on January the 20th, an internal alarm clock will wake up Rosetta. Following its 10-year journey, Europe's Rosetta spacecraft has finally ended its hibernation. It returned a signal sent out by the European Space Agency on Monday. After the successful waking up, the ESA tweeted Hello World, mimicking the signal sent back from deep space. The ESA's webcar showed scientists cheering and hugging, as the signal came in, it followed hours of anxious waiting. Congratulations! We made it. That's a big success for everybody. Now we get, got it back. Now it's up to us to drive it to the comet. 
Rosetta's onboard alarm clock went off at 5 a.m. on Monday, but it took the spacecraft seven hours to warm up and turn on its transmitter to beam a message back to Earth. The spacecraft has been hibernating for most of the past three years to save power. It's due to reach a comet called 67P in August. But unlike previous comet probes, Rosetta won't just sail by. The spacecraft is designed to put itself into orbit around 67P for more than a year of close-up studies. Comets are believed to be the pristine leftover remains from the formation of the solar system some 4.6 billion years ago. Scientists hope the mission will provide more clues about how the solar system came into existence.